Hi, finally I got the chance to try the new Panasonic FZ300. This camera falls into so-called ultra zoom category with its 24 times optical zoom. But uh, while other manufacturers try winning customers with a much higher optical zoom, current record is 83 times on Nikon P900, Panasonic went in the different direction. Uh, instead of insane optical zoom, uh, Panasonic has constant f2.8 aperture through entire zoom range and only, only modest 12 megapixels. Besides standard automatic shooting modes, this camera has an entire range of manual controls, more than any other ultra zoom on the market. I spent more time than usual with this camera. Usually I have a camera around a week for a review, but FZ300 was with me almost two and a half weeks. So I had more than enough time to try it in various shooting scenarios. And right at the start I can tell you that this is the best ultra zoom ever made. Maybe it's not perfect camera for everyone, but for what it is, it is fabulous. So let's begin. First a quick comparison with the previous FZ200 and direct competitors. As is visible FZ300 has the best specifications of all ultra zoom cameras. It is the only one with constant f2.8 aperture, touch LCD, highest electronic viewfinder resolution, widest shutter speed range, only ultra zoom with 4K video and the only one uh, with weather sealed body. 24 times optical zoom range looks a bit small on the paper, but I almost never felt I needed more than that during my review. Overall build quality superb. FZ300 felt excellent when held thanks to its big and well shaped grip. Even for users with bigger hands it will feel comfortable. I especially like this detent in grip made for middle finger. Entire grip is covered with non-slippery rubber which feels very soft to the touch. At 750 grams with the battery the camera is not ultra light but I had no problem carrying it around all day. FZ300 is also weather resistant, not the kind to jump into the sea with it but enough to withstand rain or very dusty environments. Currently this is the only ultra zoom with weather seals. As for external controls, FZ300 has a complete set. There are 4 mechanical customizable buttons and 2 control dials. One at the top to be used with the thumb and second one on the lens, what is a bit unusual place but turned out to be an excellent solution. At the back there is mechanical switch for focusing modes and multiway controller with direct access to dry modes, ISO, white balance and focus point adjustment. Many controls can be customized to personal needs, but more on that later in review when I will show all important options in the menu system. The lens is fantastic. It has 24 times optical zoom and covers equivalent of 25 to 600 mm in 35 mm equivalent. This might feel as small zoom range compared to other ultra zoom cameras, which have around 50 times or more of optical zoom, but in reality more than 600 mm is not needed. What is important is the light gathering ability and FZ300 is significantly better than any competitor. It has constant f2.8 aperture, great for low light use or isolating subject from background. It is also very important for video recording as camera doesn't need to adjust shutter speed or ISO to compensate for light loss when zooming. The lens has a built-in 5-axis image stabilization which is available at 1080p video resolution. When recording 4K video and still images, you only get up and down shake correction, but even that is very effective. Lens optical quality is high. It is generally very sharp on all zoom settings with almost no perceptible chromatic aberrations. A bit of flare can be seen when shooting with strong light sources in the frame, but nothing too serious. Anyway, usually you will not be shooting at the sun. Lens hood is supplied in the box. The lens can accept filters of standard 52mm size. If you don't use them yet, my recommendation is to get circular polarizing filter, it does wonders for removing reflections and boosts con colors and contrast in a lot of outdoor situations. Look at the roof tiles in the middle of the frame. How the reflection of the sun can be removed when you rotate the filter. Also note the change in the sky saturation. Here's an example how much optical zoom FZ300 provides. I think this is enough for everyone. Sensor has unusually small 12 megapixels resolution, but on this sensor size it is an advantage. 
less megapixels equals less digital noise in almost all cameras. Overall image quality is excellent for this camera type and sensor size. Most of the fine details in images are preserved in low ISO shots. On higher ISO values like the one you see right now, noise reduction kicks in and creates familiar watercolor effect in JPEG files. I urge you once again to learn how to use the raw file format. Only then you will be able to extract maximum image quality from any camera. You might wonder if FZ300 is capable of replacing DSLR, mirrorless or any other large sensor camera. And let me tell you, it is not. As good as the pics from FZ300 are, they still do not have level of detail, color reproduction and high ISO capabilities of 4 thirds or APS-C cameras. For amateur use, these shots might be enough, but for enthusiasts, FZ300 cannot replace large sensor camera. It might supplement it as second camera to carry around for fun and convenience. If you compare FZ300 with direct competitors, and by that I mean ultra zooms with identical sensor size, things look way different and I can assure you this is the highest image quality I've seen from any ultra zoom, especially when shooting in raw format. Let's take a look at ISO series. In ideal conditions, and by that I mean evenly lit subjects and exposing to the right in raw format, ISO 800 is perfectly usable. You can even push the camera a bit more at 1600. 3200 shows a lot of noise, while 6400 can only be used for emergencies. In real life use, things are a bit different, and I think ISO 800 is maximum you'll, you will want to use on a regular basis. Even then, some images showed more noise than I would like to see. Thankfully, you get excellent image stabilization system and f2.8 aperture, which also helps a lot to keep ISO as low as possible. Video is a huge thing on FZ300. It offers everything a video enthusiast might want. Recording format can be MP4 or AVCHD. AVCHD will offer only full HD video, but MP4 has more resolution settings. Highest resolution is 4K at 30, 25 or 24p, and full HD is available at maximum of 60p. There are also zebra function and focus peaking, as well as all manual exposure and focus controls. 3.5mm input is present and you can adjust sound level in the range of minus 12 up to plus 6 decibels and bypass out again. When recording video, zoom range is a bit different for Full HD and 4K video. 4K has the equivalent of 27 to 648mm and Full HD has 30 to 720mm. Video quality is superb. Even on default out-of-the-box settings, colors are pleasing but not overly saturated, 4K videos have extreme level of detail and image stabilization works perfectly. Here's an example how good stabilization is. I was holding the camera with only one hand for this scene. Really great performance. Even if you do not have 4K monitor or TV set at this point, it pays off to record in 4K resolution. One day you surely will have such monitor and will be happy that you have your memories from long ago in 4K resolution. Also, right now you can downsample to HD and will get more detailed video than any other similar camera can produce. In fact, FZ300 will make better video than some entry-level DSLR and mirrorless cameras. Only limit might be nighttime recording when uh, noise slowly becomes visible at ISO 800 and especially above. Now a little break, let's scare some tourists. <laughs> 4K photo mode is an interesting shooting mode for action shots. There are three 4K modes, but they all work on the same principle. The camera basically records 4K video and later you can extract still images from video. I was very pleased when I found out it is possible to extract still images from any video, not just when in 4K photo mode. Just pause the video, press the central multiway controller button and FZ300 will offer to save still image from any video. It also works for full HD resolution videos, but then you are left with only 2 megapixels still image. Great stuff, I like this camera more and more. Allow me to say a few words about classic continuous shooting on FZ300. While nothing matches high frame rate in 4K video and extracting them later, you are still limited at 8 megapixels and only JPEG format. 
For classic photography you can shoot at very high 12 frames per second in RAW mode or 6 frames per second in constant autofocus. This is the table of our available modes. I think FZ300 has more than enough capability to be a great sports camera. There is also high speed burst mode which captures at 60 frames per second but at really low resolution of 2.7 megapixels. FZ300 lets you choose between mechanical and electronic shutter or leave the camera to decide by itself. Mechanical only works from 60 seconds to 1 4000th of a second and electronic goes from 1 second to 1 16000th of a second. Autofocus is near instant. Even in low light I never noticed it needs more than a second to focus. It is also quite accurate. One thing though that could still be better is constant autofocus when the target is coming closer or spitting away from the camera. For low light use autofocus assist lamp is built in. Autofocus points are very easy to adjust using touch LCD both in position and size. If you don't like touch LCD or use electronic viewfinder most of the time, Autofocus point size can be adjusted in 8 steps using right control dial or in almost infinite number of sizes using left control dial. If off center you can reset it by pressing display button. Besides single autofocus point you can use phase detection, tracking, 49 point entire frame area or set up custom points. It even lets you select your own autofocus point configuration no matter how weird it is. Less but very important is pinpoint area which focuses on a tiny detail what is good for portraits, macro or anything that requires very precise autofocus. Manual focus has excellent implementation. It is controlled with the left side dial. When in manual focus FZ300 displays focus scale indicator and also magnifies part of the frame. Magnified part can be moved around freely. At the same time right control dial controls level of magnification. Display button resets it in the center of the frame. Also, if you wish to use autofocus for a single shot, just press focus button on the lens. LCD has usual 3 inches diagonal and 1 million dots. It is very sharp, bright enough to be used in daylight and has perfect viewing angles. It has touch capability and supports multi-touch. LCD is fully articulated in all directions and can be closed to protect it when not in use. Electronic viewfinder uses OLED technology and has 1.4 million dots. In this camera class this is the highest resolution and has best viewing experience I have seen. Switching from LCD to EVF and vice versa takes just under a second. Battery is a lithium unit capable of around 350 to 400 shots from a single charge. It takes around 2.5 hours to fully recharge in supplied external charger. FC300 records on SD memory cards. I recommend getting a large and fast memory card in order to use 4K video. One detail I did not like is position of tripod mount which is too close to battery and memory card compartment. This makes battery or memory card replacement impossible without removing the tripod plate. On the right side there are 2.5mm input for wired remote, micro HDMI output and USB connector which is not of the standard kind. Special cable is included with the camera, but if you lose it, it might be hard to buy it once again. On the left side there is 3.5mm input for external microphone. Pop-up flash is built in and will be enough for family use. Hot shoe connector for strong external flash unit is available, but what surprised me most is the ability con to control up to 3 sets of wireless flash units with the built-in flash. This is not typical even for some DSLR cameras, let alone ultra zoom. I don't think many amateurs will use this option, but it makes the camera very attractive for professionals as a backup camera capable of stepping in even for studio work in case of emergency. Quick Mini has familiar layout. You can browse through it using touch LCD, multi-way controller or dials. What I like most is the fact that there is no need to press any button to confirm selection. It remembers option highlighted with the dials. This is especially useful when using it with viewfinder without moving the camera away from the face. Let's take a look at the main menu. It has identical layout as mirrorless cameras, if you used one already, getting used to FZ300 will be very fast. FZ300 has a solid selection of photo styles and creative photo filters in Instagram style, if that is your cup of tea you will enjoy this camera. Four aspect ratios are available and they work even for raw format. 
When imported to Lightroom or Photoshop, software will recognize crop and allow you to remove it from original full-size image which is in raw format recorded at native 4x3 sensor aspect ratio. Exposure bracketing allows you to set a drive mode, step range and number of bracketed shots, 3, 5 or 7 of them and sequence direction. Highlight and shadow options allow you to play with curves, but I don't know who will have the will to do it in camera when you can apply that later on computer specifically for each shot. Multiple exposures are available, as is the case with time lapse and stop motion shooting convenient for taking images and identical intervals. Later you can combine them in camera or on PC to create time lapse videos. Highest ISO value for auto ISO can be selected, but there is no option to select shutter speed at which the change occurs. Stabilization has two modes, normal stabilization in both directions and just vertical stabilization for use when panning. Silent mode, when activated, mutes all camera sounds, deactivates flash and autofocus assist lamp and engages electronic shutter. This is basically a stealth mode which makes you unobtrusive to your surroundings. When set to release priority, camera will take the shot in instant you fully press shutter button and, ig and ignore whether correct focus is acquired. This will allow you to take the shot no matter what, instead of losing it completely because autofocus for some reason did not lock. Manual focus assist can be shown covering entire LCD or just a part of it. A live histogram can be set in any part of the frame. Zebra pattern is here to help you achieve correct exposure, especially in video since it shows blown out part of frame during recording. Monochrome live view when activated gives you black and white preview on LCD and in viewfinder, but the camera will still record in color. These are the settings for customizing direct controls. Four buttons are customizable and there are five, five more virtual slots on LCD. For every button you can select between around 50 options, more than enough to tailor the camera to personal needs. It is possible to select how zoom controllers work separately for each of them. I prefer using the one around the shutter button for constant zoom and the one on the lens for step zoom when the lens will stop at popular prime lens focal lens. Rotation direction of the dials can be switched and you can link exposure compensation directly to one of the dials without the need to press any buttons to access it. Touch LCD can be completely disabled. Touch tab activates virtual programmable buttons which I mentioned earlier. Touch autofocus can be disabled but there is no option to fire the shot using touch interface. Strange choice. Live view on LCD or in EVF can work at 30 or 60 frames per second refresh rates. Many resume will remember what is the last thing you used in Many and will position cursor at that settings next time you enter it. Playback is extremely fast, just look at how fast it goes through raw images. Magnifying recorded images is instantaneous. So there you have it. For me, FZ300 is the best ultra zoom ever made. Both from features point of view and image and video quality, there is no camera that comes close to this one. Of course, at this price point you can buy entry level DSLR or mirrorless camera with a larger sensor and if you really want the best image quality for the money, FZ300 probably is not for you. But on the other side, not a single one of those entry level DSLR or mirrorless cameras will have ergonomics and feature set like FZ300. You will also not get 4K video, articulated touch LCD and electronic viewfinder at the same time, this level of customization options, external microphone input and definitely forget about 24 times optical zoom with constant f2.8 aperture. FZ300 has all of that and if you seek one camera for all occasions, especially for travel, this is the best choice there is. What I especially like about FZ300 is the fact it is not complicated to set up and use in spite the fact it has more features than any other ultra zoom. The way I see it, only way to make this camera better is to make it with bigger sensor, but then there already is FZ1000 which was the role model for this one. FZ300 is clearly best ultra zoom ever made. That's all for this review, I hope I gave you usable information, if you have a question feel free to ask me in the comment section below. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel for updates and if you want to support me buy stuff on Amazon using my affiliate links below this video. You will not pay any more than otherwise, but I will get a small percentage from every purchase. Thanks for watching.